TV. It's Scruffy Scruffy Judge. Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Judge. Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Judge. We're God's family. What are we? We're God's family. Who are we? We're God's family. Scruffy Judge TV. Welcome to Scruffy Judge TV. Christmas special! <laughs> Great to see you again. Welcome to Scruffy Church TV. It's been ages since we saw you right back in the summer when Scruffy TV, Scruffy Church TV was on every week. It was wonderful to be together. Um, and now we're back. It's Christmas Day. If it's Christmas Day when you're watching this, happy Christmas. If it's Christmas Day tomorrow, so if you're watching on Christmas Eve, <gasps> isn't it exciting? Christmas Day tomorrow. It's brilliant. My name's Philip. I'm a vicar here in Bath. Lizzie, my wife, is on the camera. She would love to be in Scruffy TV, but she's too glam, so she can't be in Scruffy TV. Because it's Scruffy TV and not glam TV. But she's a great camera operator and it's great that she's here. Now, since the summer, we've had a couple of Scruffy Church Zoom sessions. So it's been lovely seeing people's faces because we'd had emails from people, but we hadn't actually seen their faces. So it's been lovely to see you. So a massive shout out <laughs> if you're watching this in Bath or if you're in Canberra, Australia, or Preston, or Blackpool, or Hereford, or Birmingham, or Nottingham, or Leicester, or Northampton, or London, or anywhere. A really, really big hello to you and a happy Christmas. It's great to be together at this Christmas time. Now, as you know, on Scruffy Church TV, we get to make something during the service. So have a look over here and you'll see what we're gonna need today. Right, so no surprise. There's some pens there. There's another pen to write with there. There's some paper, we need some paper. And then a piece of sort of quite thin card. Okay, there's loads of card around at this time of year with boxes and things. Uh, some scissors to cut it, some nice sensible scissors or other scissors if you like some kitchen roll, something soft and crunchy. You can use loo roll if you've got that. And some silver paper. Well, I wonder what we're gonna make with all of that lot. We'll soon find out. But first, in our Scruffy Church TV Christmas special service, we're gonna have a moment of quiet before all the excitement starts. So are you ready? Get nice and comfortable. Just sit quietly for a moment. Loving God, thank you that we have this time to be together on Scruffy Church TV Christmas special. We pray that you bless our time together. And even though we're watching in so many different places, what we all have in common is your love for us and your Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's sing a song. I know what to sing. Come on over here. I will have a really great go at it. Are you ready? Let's have a look at the words, see if you can remember them. Here we go! Think 
and have a Christmas quiz. Why not, everybody? A Christmas quiz, or we could call it a Quizmas. Yeah. Get some paper and a pen and you can write these answers down. There are six questions, see if you can get them all, and we're gonna tell you the answers at the end. Are you ready? And of course, don't forget that once you've heard the question, if you don't know it straight away, you can just pause. And then you can carry on. And you can hear the, or you can rewind and hear the question again. First question. What was the road like that the little donkey traveled on? <gasps> what was the road like the little donkey traveled on? Away in a manger, what wakes the baby? What wakes the baby when it's away in a manger? When Santa got stuck up the chimney, what colour was his nose? What colour was his nose? In what three ways were the reindeer mean to Rudolph? In what three ways were the reindeer rude to, mean to Rudolph? In silent night, holy night, what kind of peace did the holy infant sleep in? What kind of peace did the holy infant sleep in? And hark, what did the herald angels sing? What did the herald angels sing? We all love nativities. I bet you may have one in your home, a crib scene, or you may have seen one, or you may have been in one. We all love them. And what I thought I'd do, I'd show you the nativity scene, the crib scene that we have at St. Stephen's Church. Now, remember my, uh, Easter, we showed you a knitted Last Supper. Well, the same woman, Anita, who was a lovely member of St. Stephen's Church, who died a couple of years ago, sadly, because she was, she was very old. She'd knitted a nativity scene for us. We call her Nativity Scene. <laughs> Yay! So, I'm going to show you them, and this is going to be our reader. I'm going to read to you the, the Christmas story. But we are going to make it happen together. Because you remember we said about pausing? Well, I'm going to pause during the story, and you fill in the next word. Okay, see, we all know the story. See how much of it you can remember. So, once upon a time, there was a woman and a man... The woman was called Mary, the man was called Joseph, and the woman was pregnant. And they were travelling through the night all the way to the little town of Bethlehem, but they couldn't find anywhere to stay. So they went to an inn, and out came the innkeeper, who was called what should we call the innkeeper? We're going to call him Colin, I think. Colin the innkeeper. Out he came and said, what do you want? And Joseph said, what did he say? Please, can we come in because my wife's having a baby? And he said, there is no room at the inn. But since she is having a baby, you can go round the back. And I've got a little stable there, and you can stay in there. So Mary and Joseph went round the back to the stable. Meanwhile, up on a hillside were a group of shepherds looking after their sheep. And the sheep were all fast. <laughs> They're all fast asleep, the sheep. And the shepherds were nearly asleep. There we are. Now, the sheep were all asleep and there was also a sheepdog whose name was, what should we call the sheepdog? What do you want to call him or her? Glam Lizzie thinks we should call it Scruffy. So there's Scruffy the sheepdog. So the shepherds were on the hillside when suddenly there was a choir of angels and the angels were all singing and they were singing what were they singing make up a song that the angels were singing glory to god and peace on earth and they said to the shepherds go into a town called and find a poor stable and inside you'll find a baby so the shepherds 
went off with their sheep to Bethlehem. Meanwhile, in the sky was a bright and shining star. And the star was in the sky and there were some magi, some kings from a long way away who were all following the star. And they arrived at the stable too. And they had gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And I thought you would like to see, I've got here, this is frankincense. See, it's incense that burns and it gives off smoke. So that's frankincense, that's from, that's from Syria. And here from Israel is some myrrh. There we go. A lot of people think that gold was fantastic, but in frankincense and myrrh weren't very special. But in those days, frankincense and myrrh were the same price as gold. In fact, they were slightly more expensive even than gold. So these were amazing presents that the Magi were bringing to Mary and Joseph and the ba... Hang on. The baby Jesus is missing everybody. What are we going to do? Why don't we make one? Let's go over and see if we can make a baby Jesus. You need to get all of those things together that we said earlier. Right, let's move it into the light a bit more. Right, now then, what we need to do to start with is you need to draw that kind of a shape. Can you see how big that is? It looks like a bean or a seed. And you take your scissors, and if you're not very good with scissors, maybe you can ask a grown-up to help you to cut out this. This is going to be the body of the baby Jesus. There we go. Now, onto the baby Jesus, you can draw either a nice smiley face like that, or maybe the baby Jesus is woken up and crying or maybe the baby Jesus is asleep. I think I'm going to choose the sleeping version. So what you do, you get your silver foil and you tear some off because this is going to be the halo. So you put that behind the baby Jesus and just make a lovely, just crunch up a lovely halo there for the baby Jesus like that and then you put it on the kitchen roll on the pointy end and fold over those things like that and then the bottom you can tuck under like that and then you can make your baby Jesus there we are shh the baby Jesus is asleep shh I'll tell you what we'll do we shall go and sing some quiet Christmas songs together. There are three different songs here and I'm sure you'll know them. So let's get nice and comfortable and we'll sing these songs together. Stay. 
close by me forever and love me, I pray. Bless all the dear children in thy tender care and fit us for heaven to live with thee there. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round John <laughs> Remember, there's another carol that says, be born in us today. When we give Jesus our heart, it's like God plants God's seed of love in our hearts. Just like you plant a seed in the garden, it grows. And God's seed of love in our hearts, we pray, grow. And when that seed of love grows in our lives, we know God's joy and we know God's peace. And we know mercy and kindness. And sometimes we need to fight for things to be right we need to fight for justice too. But these are all the things that God wants to grow in our world and in our lives. That's why it's called the fruit of the Spirit, because it's something that grows. I have got a Christmas present now for you, because I'm going to tell you a story. And as always, there are things that you can join in with. So the first thing is you're going to need to get a fist like this and have a knock like that. Knock at the door, that's it. We're going to have knocking at the door. Then we're going to have a door opening. So just go like this. Are you ready? It goes as the door opens like that. That's brilliant. And then when we close it, we're going to slam it with a slam. So let's practice that again. Opening and slam. Great. The next thing we're going to be is angels like this. Shining, shining angels in the sky. That's brilliant. Be shining angels. When you hear the angels singing, that's what you'll do. And also, we need to get ready to do this. Shh. So there's a bit where there's a shush as well. And finally, I want you to get up and dance with me. And I'll show you more about that later on. What would it have been like to have been the innkeeper that day when Jesus was born. The day before Jesus was born. He must have been so busy. Oh, I love of being having people at the inn. I've been letting them, I've been letting them into rooms. I've got people in the bathroom, people in the corridors, in the, everywhere. I have no room left and I am shattered. So I'm writing a sign. <coughs> No. Room. No 
Roma, I'm going to put it in the window, right there, so that anybody who comes will know instantly that there's no room, and I don't have to tell them, because I am going to go up the stairs to Bedfordshire, right. Nice woolly hat to keep me nice and warm. Nice blanket. And that's me, Colin the innkeeper, signing off for the night. Good night, everybody. <laughs>
his name. Oh, nice. Well, it's great to see you all. Hey, I'll tell you what, I reckon that round the back, we can have a party. So why doesn't everybody get up and dance with me? Are you ready? Get ready to dance. piece of paper and a pen and your baby Jesus you put your baby Jesus down like that that's it now what you're going to do is you're going to draw a star around the baby Jesus like that and we're going to write on the star we're going to write a word in here When the baby Jesus is born in our lives, we can be thankful. Thank you, God, for sending us Jesus, the best present ever. And we thank you for one another. And we thank you for all the people who are looking after us still. People in hospitals and doctors and nurses and all the people who run the hospitals, people who do medicines and invent vaccines and develop them. Thank you for schools and for shops, for delivery people, for all the places we can go to eat and drink, some of us. And we pray for all of those and we give you thanks for them. The next thing we're going to write is joy. Thank you for the joy of Christmas. Thank you for all the presents we're going to get and the presents we're going to give. And thank you that we can be together those of us who can, and for the warmth of a wonderful home. And we're going to write love. And we're going to remember those people who we can't be with, who we love this Christmas. And we pray especially for those who are lonely or alone at Christmas this year and missing other people. We pray that you'll comfort them and we're going to pray for peace in the world and peace for those who are worried peace for those who are fearful at this time peace for those who are ill or sick or lonely pray that you'll bring them comfort this Christmas and we pray for those who miss people either people who have died or people that they can't be with. And we pray that your world will be full of your peace and that we would use our world better. Help us to treat our living planet with kindness. And we pray for hope. We pray that next year we will learn so much from being together about what it means to help one another and to love one another. And we ask all these things in Jesus' name as we pray the prayer that Jesus taught us as glad as he goes round the other side of my masks there. There's our prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever amen great let's go and sing a final song together and look who's here on the way 
It's India. Oh, she's, she had a bit of tinsel in her collar. It's fallen out. Well, there's India. Happy Christmas, India. And she says, Happy Christmas to you as well. Right, let's sing our final song together. There we go. I'm sure you'll know this one. Oops. Let's sing together. again to Andrew who's going to edit Scruffy Church together put it on, and put it on our YouTube channel and we're going to finish sorry oh you want to know the answers to the Quizmas well I said we we're going to have a special guest didn't I and here is the special guest it's Glam Hello Lizzie. there there we go. Right, Glam Lizzie, what are the answers to the questions? Oh, Philip, I can't find them. Here they are. Hello, everybody. Happy Christmas. Right, number one. What was the road like that the little donkey travelled on? The road was dusty. Dusty. Did you get that right? And the second question. Away in the manger, what wakes the baby? It's the cattle lowing. And when Santa got stuck up the chimney, what colour was his nose? His nose was black from all the soot. What three ways are the reindeer mean to Rudolph? They laugh at him and they call him names and they won't let him join in their games. In the silent night, holy night, what kind of peace did the holy infant sleep in? Heavenly peace. Hark, what did the herald angels sing? Glory to the newborn king. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Glam, Lizzie. Look, her camera works much better than mine. Right. All that remains for me to say is have a great and wonderful Christmas. May God be in your hearts and your homes. May you have rest and hope and joy. And may the Christ child be born in you afresh this Christmas. In the name of God who made us, who sent Jesus for us. And who is the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great time. We hope that we'll be back again in the new year with some more scruffy tvs look on our website www.stevensbath.org.uk but for now have a great christmas happy christmas from everybody here and see you soon on scruffy church tv everybody Scruffy, scruffy church, woo! Scruffy, scruffy church, woo! Scruffy, scruffy church. We're God's family, what are we? We're God's family, who are we? We're God's family.
family. Scruffy Judge TV.